Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a products um, review slash comparison because I am talking about these two right here. I asked you guys in my previous video if you guys would want to see a comparison with the Anastasia Contour Kit versus the new NYX Highlight and Contour Palettes. So I'm going to try to get straight to the point in each of these products just so you guys can know whether to skip or uh, purchase this specific item. So as you know, NYX and a whole bunch of new companies are coming out with contour palettes which in my personal opinion I think is an amazing idea because sometimes a specific product can be ridiculously expensive. So these are the two that I will be talking about. Again, this is the Anastasia Contour Kit Palette and then this is the NYX Palette. So right away, obviously, there's a huge difference in packaging. This one is pretty much pack, um, not packaged, it's uh, plastic all around, which can make the product look a little bit cheapish, but it's pretty sturdy, so it's not too bad. The Anastasia Contour Kit Palette is a little bit more sturdy and it's a lot heavier. Now another difference is that the Anastasia Contour Kit Palette contains six shades and this one contains eight shades. So you're getting a little bit more product in this. And the concept is pretty much the same. The colors are a little bit alike. And then obviously we have the most famous shade out of all which is the banana one. This one's my absolute favorite. And then the next one also contains the banana powder um, right here in the middle. So let me just talk about this one for a minute. So this one is pretty new to NYX and it is $25 at Ulta, their website, or pretty much anywhere else where you can get your hands on it. It is on the pricey side for it being a drugstore product, but I kind of understand why. First of all, you're getting eight shades in one pan and the, the sizes of these are pretty big, which is for me, I don't think I will hit pan on them that fast because you're getting a lot of products. So that's the thing that I like. Now, the only thing that I would have to say that I wasn't blown away by this specific product is that, I don't know, sometimes the products can be a little bit chalky. The banana shade truly is a gorgeous color, but it's not as rich. It's not as... How can I explain it? It's pigmented, but it's not creamy, if that makes sense. I know that it's a powder and, not, and it's not supposed to be super creamy, but still, I find that the Anastasia Contour Kit Palette is a little bit creamier, more velvety, and more smooth than this one. Now, my favorite shade from this specific palette, it I still like the banana shade. I still really enjoy it and I still use it. I like to use this to just set my under eye concealer and then just pretty much set my chin and my forehead which is usually where I like to highlight. And then these, I really haven't messed with these yet because they have a little bit more of that peachy undertone which I don't like. Now this one is a highlight color. Really pretty shade but it can be a little bit chalky especially when you apply it to your cheekbones. It kind of like dusts away which is very annoying because if you have your makeup on and your lashes on it's going to get on your lashes and everything. So that's the only thing I didn't like. And then there's another highlight shade and it's this one right here. It's very white and it's very... I don't know. I'm not a big fan of this one because I don't like those white highlights. I prefer either the ones that have those gold undertones, a pink one, or just a really nice bronzy highlight. So yeah, um, and then the one that I've been using to contour is this one right here because it's a little bit similar to Fawn on the palette right here. Um, except this one is a little bit more like grainy if that makes sense. So this one does also have those gray undertones. And then sometimes I'll use this one if I really want to chisel out my cheekbones like today. Yeah, that's what I use to contour and I really like it. I really do. It's, it's a good product. Um, I think maybe there's some stuff to improve on here as far as like just the chalkiness that sometimes can come off from this palette but overall I'm I think they did an okay job now the Anastasia obviously there's not much to say about this product because it is 
so hyped here on YouTube. I mean, Anastasia's stuff just completely went crazy last year. And that's when I feel that I met and that I uh, saw more stuff from Anastasia Beverly Hills. So, yeah, I mean, this product is, is amazing. I really, really like it. Especially the banana shade, that's the one that I use the most. And then with this one, you're only getting one highlight, which I don't use it either. Just because I'm so picky with my highlights. I, I don't know, I like what I like, I guess. But definitely Fawn is one of my favorite um, little contour shades from here. And this is what I like to use um, to contour the hollows of my cheeks because it gives me a more natural finish. These, they're, they're nice and they're really nice and creamy. Um, but I like to use these more to just bronze up my face and give it a little more color. So, if you are indecisive of whether to buy the Anastasia Contour Kit or the NYX one, in my personal opinion, I would still go with the Anastasia Contour Kit. Again, even though you're not getting as many shades and as, as much product in here, I just think the product itself it's really good so it's it's expensive it's forty dollars for this but now they have refillable pans so you can refill your stuff and you don't have to purchase a whole new contour um kit thing so i like it because the consistency of it it's not powdery and for me it stays all day long versus the next one it is pigmented it can get a little bit chalky at times and i don't know i mean it's tough to decide, but if I had to repurchase another item, I think I would definitely go with my Anastasia Contour Kits. Again, just the consistency of the product. It's really creamy. It's really easily to blend, and I just I like it. I really, really like it. So yeah, that is my personal opinion on these two palettes. Let me know if I missed anything, if you guys want me to... Um, answer any more questions. I am always answering your comments, so make sure to leave your questions down below. And um, I believe that is everything. Also, let me know if you guys want to see a makeup tutorial on this look. I never wear blue eyeshadow just because I feel like it doesn't really go with me, but I'm really digging this look today. Let me know if you guys do want to see a makeup tutorial on that. So with that said, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys had a fantastic weekend and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!